Hey there buddy peeps, how are we doing today? Welcome, welcome, welcome and welcome back to the channel. Um, today's going to be a bit different. I wanted to introduce you to a, a few more of my money boxes. <laughs> and instead of being the crazy cat lady, I think I'm going to be the crazy money box lady. <laughs> I do love money boxes. I have a, a little bit of a collection and I cannot resist a money box. And my son found me goofy this week. Um, which I think is amazing and as you can see Goofy has got some patches on his tyres so I thought what better I've already got a car you see I've got Marvin the Mini and I thought well, why would I need Goofy and when I saw the patches on his tyres I thought that's it Goofy can save for us for some new tyres so he's a vintage money box um, not sure of his value but I don't care about his value. All I care about is he's beautiful. <laughs> so he's a genuine Disney money box. And he's coming to join our family. To help us save for some new tyres. So that's Goofy. And then this week. Sit over there Goof. <laughs> and then this week we went to a charity shop. And found this 15 year old beauty. To help save for our gadgets. That we really 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 need. <laughs> So yeah, we're going to be we are saving for technical items such as mobile phones and so forth. So um this is where the money's going to be stashed for those things. So that's going to be very helpful. I like the the sayings um on the side as well. Um what's it say? It says techie gizmos, cool gadgets, boys toys, call them what you will. Blokes need them. And that's what this money is for. Buying cool stuff that does things and probably has got lots of buttons on. Well, hey, <laughs> blokes need them. Yeah, that'll be my hobby, that will. <laughs> I've got to have it, I've got to have it. Yeah, bless. So that's um, for money box, uh, money box, 15 year old money box charity shop find for our um, gadgets. And then, once we've been on our cruise to the Northern Lights, we will be starting to save for our cruise to the Christmas markets. So, this is Klaus. He's going to save our pennies right the, way, right the way up to September 24, when we will be paying for our Christmas cruise 2024 to go to the Christmas markets, which is our debt-free cruise. So, that's going to be a challenge. A big challenge because there's a lot of pennies to pay off already and during christmas we found this little beauty <laughs> in uh i think it was home bargains there was some fudge in him so he is going to be saving this lovely little train tin is going to be saving for a train trip we've not decided where we're going yet but during june when it's our actual anniversary date our 25th anniversary date we want to go on a train journey, an old fashioned train with a steam engine. So we're going to be looking for some deals, uh, maybe on Groupon or Voucher or wherever and see what we can find and see where we end up. But that's where we're going to start saving in there for that. So we've got lots of savings challenges and things going on. And as I said, I, I think Hubby's going to have to build me some shelves in this room so that I can put all my money boxes on them because I love them so much and I just keep collecting them. I can't help it. <laughs> I'll have no money. They'll all be in the money boxes. <laughs> so there we go. Right then, I know you did ask to see my artwork. Um, I call it my artwork. It starts off, it's scratch art that I like to do and it starts off like this. And as you can see, there's no sort of detailing as such with regards to the scratches on there. What you do is your own take, your own attempt or whatever it is, or your own flair. So I'll show you one that I've already done. Um, I wanted to show you, first of all, the cheetah. Oh as I drop the lion. First of all, I wanted to show you the cheetah. Isn't that amazing? Cheetah, leopard, I'm not sure. <laughs> but if you go really close in, you can see there are thousands of tiny, tiny little scratches that have made up that artwork. Tiny, tiny, tiny little scratches and it takes hours and hours. There's on average three to five hours goes in 
to create in a piece of art like this. So it's not something that's done in 10 minutes. It's it's a labour of love. <laughs> I don't know where it's going to stand up for me now. Stand up for me. And the tools that we use to make this artwork are here. Or I use, shall I say, are here. There's different um, ones, I think you call them. So there's one of the ones that's used to scratch the black to create the art. And then you've got all of these that have come from various different different scratch arts that I've done over the time. So there's a brush to brush away the debris. Um, you've got just plain wooden scratches or ones and more detailed ones. You do get these like little dust bits everywhere though. It is a messy job and I think I will have to start wearing latex gloves to do it because it gets all up your nails and everywhere. So that's that. Um, I also did a tiger. There's a tiger. Beautiful, isn't he? He's in colour. Some of the scratch arts that you get can be silver, gold, colour. Um, hang on a second. If I just pop you there to have a look at the tiger when I just reach for this, reach for this lion. There he is. to drop. Clumsy me. Here we go. And there is the lion. Now that's one of the lions that I've done. I love doing lions. But if you look really, really close, look at all those tiny, tiny little scratches. You see? Really close up. And see them all in there so it's your own take on the actual art itself so there you go and from, from when that's framed that's going to be absolutely stunning so I've been doing these as like presents and gifts for people and I've also um, I've got a party coming up this weekend almost see me then <laughs> uh, there you go I've done this one and framed it in a glass frame uh, of a little kitty because the lady I'm going to her birthday party she loves cats as you um as you move about you can uh, see it sparkles in the light as you move it about that's my studio light you can see in the mirror, in the glass there you go see the sparkle on that isn't it beautiful so that's going to be her gift. As well as doing artwork like this, I also like to do um, crystal art. So I'll show you what I've been working on for Christmas. I'm working on Christmas cards. Um, isn't that beautiful? And it, as you can see, each one of these tiny little beads has been hand, or tiny little crystals has been hand placed. And it's very much like painting by numbers. So what happens is you start off with your crystal work, which is like a painting by numbers art kit. So I'll show you. I've got this little pot. Oh, I'm getting everything everywhere again. And you have little crystals with numbers on. So number 17 is obviously the green. This, this is what I'm working on at the moment as a gift to myself. You have these ones to place the crystals with. As you can see, they're very fine. It picks up the crystal. 
and you have these glues you take a little piece of the glue with the with the wand and then you carefully pick up the crystal and put it onto the painting these are the ones i've already done so um what i've what I'm doing at the moment is, as you know, or may not know, <laughs> if you're new to the channel, um, I'm going to see the Northern Lights um, in April. It's part of my bucket list and it's also part of our 25th anniversary, wedding anniversary celebrations. So that's what we've uh, booked to do. So rather than go to the Northern Lights in Norway and buy a souvenir... I decided to buy a crystal artwork that I'm still working on. There we go. When it's framed, it's going to look amazing. Um, but that is the Northern Lights. So this is my souvenir from the Northern Lights. It's all crinkly at the moment because it's been rolled up. But if you open, this is very sticky. So this this uh, protects the stickiness of the underneath, so that you can still oops, so you can still stick your gems your crystals to it so if you go really really closely you can see where i still have some to do so you can see that's labeled v and that one's labeled q um there's some more here look p and that, that one there slipped look v so that needs repositioning so yeah so basically you just stick them on which takes forever i've been working on this one so there's the wise i've been working on this one for quite some time so there we go that is my crystal artwork and my scratch artwork hope you enjoyed the video and maybe you'll see these uh, money boxes in future videos so i'll leave it there and say ciao for now